hi i'm back with another video and this time it's my july recapping the month um if you hear my fan on in the background i apologize it's still like 86 degrees when i'm filming this so let's see um this month was the wettest probably july ever my dad was telling me i think it was um the second week of july that they were already saying that this was probably the wettest july we've ever had because usually by the time 4th of July gets here, we are currently on, or have been on a burn ban, or it's been a continuation of a burn ban. <clears throat> and we were not on a burn ban. I can't remember when the last time was we were. If it was back in April or May, or the beginning of June. Might have been like May or beginning of June. And so it was like, but when the 4th got here, I was like, okay, this is just weird. Not having a burn ban, or being a continuation of a burn ban. <clears throat> And so now we're at the point now where we're hot. It started out the first however many days it was raining um, constantly off and on. And so we were getting, we need the rain of course, but it was raining constantly. And then the last um, week or two, we've gotten to the hundreds. It's like um, 99 with a heat index of like a, make it 120, um, 101, you know, 105, things like that. So, currently got my fan on, like I said, because it's still like 86 degrees out, and it's like, it's, it's late. Because I, I always wait to film my recapping the month on, like, the last day of the month, and so I can have it up the next day. And so, I was like, what's the temperature? And it's like, 86 degrees. And I'm like, ooh. And so, I kind of kind of miss that rain. <laughs> And then, of course, next month it's going to probably be hot. And, of course, the kids are all going back to school here pretty soon. So, hopefully, our air conditioning is all ready for them. And so, like I said, we didn't have a burn ban. So, that was weird. Got all that rain. So, this is going down. It's like the rainy, like I said, the rainiest July ever. Um, been to the Goodwill outlet. My second time going as I made a video. Um... The, the, this time when I went, you know, I knew what to expect, and next time I go, I need to remember to bring the shopping cart with me. I'm still loving all my things I found as I'm using my little prop. I still think she's so cute. Um, I'm so glad I found it. I am a little disappointed that I had to, like, worry about digging my hands in glass and ceramics. Thank goodness I, I could see over into the bins, because that was kind of scary finding glass in there. I'm glad we went to Home Goods again because it had been a while since we went to Home Goods. Um, I, I just recently, you know, um, the day I filmed this one, I got, we went to Hobby Lobby and Salvation Army and we were having this conversation about the fact that when was the last time we went to Salvation Army, thrift store, and I'm like, it's been a while. And then the Hobby Lobby we went into, it's been a long time since we've been in there because we were walking around talking about how it looked like they rearranged everything and moved everything and it looks so different we're both like when was the last time we've been in here because we would go to the other one they have and because that's where like home goods and the tj maxx and them are at and john Baduce. <laughs> and so that was a lot of fun going into hobby lobby and salvation army because we haven't been there in forever and then like i said going to the google outlet we got plans to go to um the regular goodwill um i'm not sure when because we were Chuck needed some new shirts, and so when we were at Salvation Army, we found one. Yeah, I think we found one, and usually we hit the jackpot on the shirts he likes at the Goodwill. And usually the Goodwill we go to, because I told her, I said, we may have to check into other Goodwills, especially that one, because <clears throat> that's where we seem to hit the jackpot on the shirts. And so we were having that conversation about next time going to the Goodwill. We didn't go there this time because um, we decided to go to the, like, the Salvation Army and check out Hobby Lobby. And so we were having that conversation about the antique stores that, that are near the Goodwill we usually hit the jackpot on for our shirts. They're all, uh, it's too hot right now to go into them because they, their air conditioning and their heating's not that great. So we were talking about how, because she hadn't been feeling good over the weekend, that it was best not to go too far away to like the Google Outlet again or Ollie's or any of the antique stores we've been to or any of the antique stores we haven't been to yet. So those are future things we plan to do. Um, 
I gotta remember to get up tomorrow, make sure I pray for Chuck. He's going in for some procedure tomorrow. So I'll be, I'm gonna make sure I pray for him, because I always do. But I wanna make sure that I, I get the timing and all that stuff for down for when I when they go. Um, let's see. Oh, I had to go to um, walmart.com to get some cat stuff because I, the last time I took went grocery shopping, they, it was all, they were all over the place and so many people were just standing in the way and I was like, it just kind of messed me up and I didn't know, if, I couldn't remember seeing some of the cat stuff in the aisle because I think they were all still in boxes and so I had to um, order from walmart.com to get some more cat stuff and it came on the same day so i was really happy i was a little i was a little worried they weren't going to be able to bring it to me and i was gonna have to wait but they brought it back they brought it to me which was nice um let's see i uh, i wrote a book this month uh i have the review it's gonna be coming out next month because the book comes out next month Ooh, excuse me um let's see what else let's see the Oh, tried another frozen pizza. That review will be coming out next month too. Um, let's see what else. Uh, still loving all my Avon stuff that I got from, like I said, the Goodwill outlet this time. My little home goods skeleton and my salt and pepper shakers from Home Goods. Still loving those. Hope to go back to Home Goods soon. Um, of course, we talked about going to TJ Maxx in the future. Um, going back to Hobby Lobby because they, you know, they got real cute Christmas ornaments and and then, like I said, in the in the future, go to the antique stores and Goodwill outlet again, and then of course the Goodwill, like I said. Um, let's see what else. I don't think really much happened this month. Like I said, it rained. Um, it turned hot. Been to, like I said, Goodwill outlet. Salvation Army Thrift Store, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. Um, it's been pretty quiet around here, not much going on. Um, nothing real, real exciting. Just been hot. <laughs> so I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap that up on what we've done this month. Not much happened. Thank you for watching. Bye.